Hello everyone. In our previous modules, we have learned about how metals and non-metals behave with air and water. These reactions helped us to deduce that sodium and potassium are highly reactive metals, followed by magnesium, aluminium, zinc and iron. Metals like lead, copper, silver and gold did not show much reactivity. We have learned in the previous chapter as well that metals react with acids to form salt and hydrogen gas. Let's now observe a few important reactions between metals and dilute hydrochloric acid that is dilute HCl. For this, let's compare the reactions of sodium, potassium and magnesium with the dilute acid. The reaction of sodium is very violent, while that of magnesium is less violent than sodium, indicating that magnesium is less reactive than sodium. Let us now observe the reaction of aluminium with hydrochloric acid. Aluminium initially reacts slowly with the dilute hydrochloric acid. Why do you think this reaction is initially slow? It is due to the presence of a tough protective layer of aluminium oxide on its surface. Observe carefully, the rate of reaction seems to be accelerating, which indicates that when the topmost oxide layer dissolves in acid, then the exposed fresh layer of aluminium metal reacts rapidly with the acid. The reaction of aluminium is less rapid than that of magnesium, indicating that it is a lesser reactive metal. Zinc reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid to form zinc chloride and hydrogen gas. This is a slower reaction as compared to all the above reactions that we have performed until now. That is with sodium, magnesium and aluminium, indicating that zinc is a less reactive metal than sodium, magnesium and aluminium. Iron reacts slowly with cold and dilute hydrochloric acid to form ferrous chloride and hydrogen gas. The slow reaction indicates that iron is a lesser reactive metal than zinc. Thus the reactivities of these metals in the decreasing order is magnesium which is more reactive than aluminium which is more reactive than zinc and zinc is more reactive than iron. Look carefully, copper metal is not reacting with dilute hydrochloric acid at all, making it a lesser reactive metal than even iron. Gold and silver also do not react with the dilute acids. This is because the metals like copper, silver and gold which are less reactive than hydrogen do not displace hydrogen from the acid molecule. The metals which are more reactive than hydrogen displace hydrogen from the acid molecule. Let us now study the reactions of metals with dilute sulfuric acid. Metals react with dilute sulfuric acid to form metal sulfates and hydrogen gas. Let's compare all the reactions of sodium, potassium, magnesium, calcium, zinc, iron and copper with sulfuric acid carefully. Did you know that when a metal reacts with dilute nitric acid, 
hydrogen gas is not evolved. Nitric acid is a strong oxidizing agent and as soon as hydrogen gas is formed in this reaction, nitric acid oxidizes hydrogen to water and nitric acid is itself reduced to one of the nitrogen oxides like dinitrogen monoxide, nitrogen monoxide or nitrogen dioxide. The type of oxide formed depends on the nature of the metal, temperature of the reaction and the concentration of the nitric acid. However, with very dilute nitric acid, magnesium and manganese react to form their nitrates and hydrogen gas is evolved as very dilute nitric acid is a weak oxidizing agent and is not able to oxidize hydrogen to water. Before we end this module, we must learn about aquaregia also. This word aquaregia means the royal water in the Latin language and is a freshly prepared solution of one part of concentrated nitric acid and three parts of concentrated hydrochloric acid. It is a highly corrosive liquid which can dissolve all metals, even gold and platinum. There is yet so much more to learn about metals and non-metals. We shall learn about how metals and non-metals react with salt solutions in the next module. Before we wind up for the day, let us quickly summarize what we have learned in this module. Metals react with acids to form salt and hydrogen gas. Copper metal does not react with dilute hydrochloric acid. Gold and silver also do not react with dilute acids. Metals react with dilute sulfuric acid to form metal sulfates and hydrogen gas. Copper does not react with the dilute sulfuric acid. When a metal reacts with dilute nitric acid, hydrogen gas is not evolved. The type of oxide formed depends on the nature of metal, temperature of the reaction and the concentration of the nitric acid. With very dilute nitric acid, magnesium and manganese react to form their nitrates and hydrogen gas is evolved. The word aquaregia means royal water in the Latin language and it is a freshly prepared solution of one part of concentrated nitric acid and three parts of concentrated hydrochloric acid. It is a highly corrosive liquid.